for the Rebels. You can hear them behind me. We're at 40 seconds to play. I'll let the student section call the game. Franklin County's just moving it around the perimeter. They may hold for a final shot here, Steer. We're inside of 30 seconds to play. Lions going to go baseline, float one over Shimwell and in. Two points for Shamar Lions. We're at 20 seconds to play. Let's see if Coach Taylor calls a timeout or if he's going to let his team play. Coffee County basketball. Abalana. 10 seconds. Timeout, Coach Andrew Taylor with 9.9 .9 on the clock. Raiders trail by one on the first Vision Bank scoreboard. The whole playbook is there. And you can do anything you want. You don't have to shoot a three. You can go straight to the basket. You can go to Connor Shimwell. The problem I find late in games, referees sometimes don't call fouls. And if you go to the paint, you could be in danger of that. Absolutely. And, and these officials, in my opinion, have have allowed quite a bit of physical play this evening, so you can't rely on a foul call here. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to encourage them to call a foul if there is one. <laughs> just, you know, just call the game straight up, but if there's a foul around the basket, I'm going to encourage them to call. Right. We, we talk about pretty regularly um, one thing that we know Coach Andrew Taylor does well is uh, an inbound play, and so hopefully he's got one in reserve here. Ball goes in to Roman. To the corner, Crossland's three-point shot is blocked out of bounds. Saved to Abalana. His shot is blocked by Russell. It goes out of bounds. There's three seconds to play. Well, I think they're going to add some time back, Josh. Yeah, I think there should be a little bit of time. Um, as that immediately went to the table. That length of Franklin County blocked two shots. Crossland was blocked in the corner, and then Abalana had a great look at it on the block, but it was swatted. And let's see if they put some time back yeah. on the clock. I thought we were going to get maybe even a little more than that, but another they, second for Coffee County. So four seconds, plenty of time here. One point Rebel lead. Inbound. Crossland shots tipped. Goes to Johnson. He saves it from going out of bounds, and that'll end the game. Not a great look at it. A technical. There's a technical. A technical was called by the official. Now, how's that work, Josh? I don't know. We got a technical as time has expired. I think they called that on Rigsby. I think they called that on Rigsby for Franklin County. Let's see who that's on. Time had expired. Coffee County's gonna get free throws. Dane Crossland is going to the line. Dane Crossland is going to the line. That is on Rigsby. A technical foul after time had expired. My goodness, Josh. I don't know that I've ever seen that. Rebel fans are trying to come onto the floor almost at that official. So Dane Crossland has two free throws coming. If he hits one, we have a tie game. If he hits two, Coffee County will win this. An official stands by his call. Crossland to the charity stripe. Raiders trail by one. First free throw, no good. He's got one more to try to tie this game. Nails it. Ice in the veins. Woo! We're going to play free basketball from the patch. We're tied at 37 on the first Vision Bank scoreboard. Franklin County, you just got to, you know, the, the clearly some frustration on their side. So Coffee County uh, needs a quick start here to start overtime. You got some foul trouble. Connor Shimwell with four, Shamar Lyons with four. They're both on the floor to start overtime. Well, jump ball, that'll be Taylor Stovall for Franklin County. The team's got to switch directions and go the same direction they were going. Right to left for Coffee County. Rollman and Stovall. To jump. Four minutes on the clock. Tip one by Phineas Rollman, who is about 16 and one on the year, I think, on jump balls. Lions <laughs> flying through there, almost a foul there. Raiders in front by two. Johnson on the left wing. Skips. Penetration, shot, no good. There's Rigsby with the rebound and the putback as Coffee County has just failed miserably in the second half on the boards. 
Calls out some offense. Abelano on the left wing. Will stand there waiting on Johnson to come play defense. Now a pass to Nugent. Nugent back to Abelano. Coffee County has milked a minute and a half here almost. We're down to a minute 20 to play in overtime. Franklin County eventually has got to come out of that, you'd think. Steer, if not, Coffee County will just hold it. They don't appear to be in any hurry to do so. They are insistent on not letting Connor Shimwell beat them right here. No, I they've got Josh. three people in his lap right now, and Coffee County is going to take this to a minute to play. 35 seconds. What a stall game. <laughs> My goodness, what a stall game. Poor Keandre Johnson is going to be war plumb out from going back and forth between Nugent and Abalana. 23 seconds to play. See what Coffee County does with its offense. 15. Nugent near midcourt is in some trouble. Timeout, Coffee County. 12.3 to play as they ate three minutes off the clock almost. Two and a half minutes. It's going to be a full timeout. Don't go anywhere. We're tied at 39 in overtime. This is Coffee County basketball driven by Alan Connor Shimwell on the floor. 12 seconds to play. Got to get it in. They get it in to Abalana. 11 seconds. 10. 8. Abalana looking for a screen. Goes left. He's in trouble. Knocked away by Russell. Russell going the other way to Johnson. He's fouled hard from behind by Shimwell. It's an intentional foul. He's going to shoot two, and Franklin County gets the ball steer. That's the herder. If he's shooting free throws, you get a chance, but they get the ball back, and that's, that's not good news. Johnson's a good player. Two shots. Hard to imagine him missing one. They're missing both. Misses the first. He's got one more. He's got 12 points tonight. He's been huge. He's been pretty automatic for the Rebels. He misses them both. He missed them both. Left it short. Now it's Franklin County basketball inbounding baseline. Coach Zach Holt thinks he's supposed to get two more free throws. I don't think he, he <laughs> understands. He wasn't a technical. And so timeout Franklin County, a full timeout. The Rebels are going to get to inbound it. They've got the ball with a 1.5 to play. My goodness, what a finish we've had. Some crazy stuff here. Still, we're going to keep it right here. And now DeBron Russell gets a chance to win the game for the Rebels. He'll have two free throws. He missed the first. He's got one more. Franklin County's missed three straight here in the last minute and a, or second and a half. DeBron Russell to shoot one more. He can win the game if he hits this. 0 0.3 on the clock. Russell. Missed them both. He missed them both. Franklin County goes 0 for 4 at the free throw line in the final second and a half almost. Oh my goodness. And we're going to play more free basketball from the patch. We're tied at 39. Russell has played really well defensively for Franklin County. A minute 58 to play. Franklin County's acting like they may hold on to the basketball now. They're checking their timeout situation. They've got some. I don't even know if you get some in overtime or not. You do, but he didn't use, he only used one, maybe two in regulation. Lions around. And you know with Johnson off the floor, they're going to want it to run through Lions. Lions trying to go past Nugent, lays it off for Blackwell. Blackwell to Russell to Rigsby. Three, no good. Rebound. Blackwell. Nugent tied him up. It's going to be Coffey County possession. Did we not get possession on the jump ball? I'm not going to question it. Should be Franklin County. They will have the basketball after Nugent ties it up. Minute 11 to play. Oh my goodness. Whoever hits one shot may win this game. Abalana, 40 seconds to play, going to skip it to the corner. Rollman has it poked away from him. Ball's loose on the floor, rolling around, people diving everywhere. Jackson Shimwell trying to get it. Instead, Lyons has it. Shimwell rips it away. I never heard a whistle. I, I guess we've had a whistle. I've not heard one. I never heard a whistle. Did Franklin County get a timeout? Nobody ever had the ball. Nobody for Franklin County ever had the ball. Did they get a timeout? Oh, my goodness. 
Somebody gave Franklin County a timeout. Nobody ever had the basketball. When it was right in front of our table, we had a pretty good view, so. Both teams had players trying to call a timeout, but I think they gave the timeout to Coach Holt. Might as well start calling it, see if they give it to you. So with 28 seconds to play, the Rebels force a turnover. Coffee County's turned it over late in both overtime periods, trying to hold for long possessions. Both teams have had opportunities to win it. Both teams know how important this game is for a regular season district championship. Yeah, Franklin County has to have it. Tommy County can get by maybe without it, but both teams really have to have this. You get the rubber match here, and you're probably going to win the district. If you lose, you need help. True. Screen, he has picked up a couple of fouls with them moving. Lions trying to go to the basket. Kicks, Rigsby. Rigsby penetrates. Little runner, good. With three seconds to play, Coach Taylor with a timeout, and there should be more time back on the clock. So Rigsby goes to the glass and gets the bucket for Franklin County. Let's see how much time goes back on the clock. The Raiders are going to have to go the full length of the floor here, Steer. Should be around three seconds, I That's believe. what I think. 2.8 to 3.2 is kind of where my eyes were, which is time. 2.3 is all they put back on the clock. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like Coffee County had at least 2.8. Yeah, that's, that's a tough addition. Well, Steer, you, you can run the baseline. You can do some different things. You've got time. 2.3 to play. Inbounding will be Nugent. Roman is back under the basket. Two guards, Shimwell and Crossland. Inbound to Shimwell. One second to play. Fires up a shot. Won't fall. He had a good look at it. But Franklin County is going to get the win. 41-39 in double overtime in Manchester. What a fine finish we had here. Unfortunately, Coffee County just couldn't emerge victorious. And Franklin County is going to take the lead in district play.